Two OU students who appeared in an online video last week in blackface and using a racial slur will not be returning to campus. At a news conference today, the university's president said the two have since dropped out. News 9's Aaron Brilbeck is live in Norman with the new developments tonight. Aaron? For the first time since the video surfaced, OU President Jim Gallagher has slammed it publicly as being racist, and he says the university has to do more to curb what he calls systemic racism. On a day when we're supposed to be honoring the legacy of Dr. Martin Luther King Jr., instead, OU is dealing with fallout from this. A video that shows two sophomores, one in blackface, using a racial slur. This behavior does not reflect the values and principles of our university, our community, or our state. This video signals to me that we have much more to do. This is the second such incident at OU in the past few years. In 2015, the Sigma Alpha Epsilon fraternity was closed after members were seen on video singing a racist song. President Jim Gallagher says the university has to do more to combat racism. First, increase efforts to recruit more students, faculty, and staff of color on campus. Second, to review our code of conduct to make it as rigorous as possible in addressing inequality and racism. And third, ensure that our campus inclusion programs and training are robust. As for the two students in this video, they decided on their own to withdraw under the circumstances. They could see that our culture rejects this kind of activity in no uncertain terms. I think it be very, became very clear to them that this type of behavior uh, is not only local news, but state news and national news. I think they're very surprised by the reaction. And it was a broad reaction. The story was picked up by news media all over the country. Tomorrow, students here at OU will be holding a rally against racism, and President Gallagher says he'll be joining them. We're live on the scene on the story in Norman Aaron Brilbeck, News 9.